We are now joined by Stetson head coach Pete Dunn and student athletes Jeff Simpson and Nick Rickles. Coach, if you could please begin with an opening statement and then we will open it up for questions. Well, first of all, uh, the obvious, we're, we're certainly happy to be here. Uh, great baseball town, certainly a great baseball facility. Last time I was here personally was back in the early 70s when I was with Coach Polk over at Georgia Southern and we, we had some knockdown drag outs for Georgia Southern. I know nobody here is old enough to remember that, but Hank Small and a bunch of those guys that were good players. And that was, uh, that was personally my last time playing here in, uh, uh, in Columbia, but uh, we're certainly glad to, to be back and, and uh, what, a, what a nice facility. This is super and like I said, it's a great baseball town. So it's the first time that Stetson's been fortunate enough to uh, to be in Columbia for a regional as well. So there's a lot of firsts going on, but uh, we're, we're happy to be here. We'll open it up for questions for the student athletes. Please raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you. Jeff, Nick, I'll ask if, uh, this of both of you. Obviously, you're happy to be here and being in a region in the postseason a little bit more intense that the national champions are here. I mean, yeah, it's a little intense. They're fourth in the country. That's something we have to go up against. But, I mean, we'd, we like to play against people like that. We like to play in this type of environment. We've played at Florida State before, so playing in this type of environment is going to be good for us, I think. Um, I just think it's, it's more exciting than anything. Uh, the exper uh, experience we're going to have is, is one of a kind. Um, our team loves challenges and playing in this kind of environment, and I think we're going to respond pretty well to it. Uh, for Nick and Jeff as well, you kind of touched on it there <clears throat> about the challenges. What are your expectations this weekend? I mean, is it, you know, more than just being here? It's like we're, you know, we're looking to advance. I mean, we're here to win. Um, we try not to, to look past the first game. That's what we're focused on right now um, and game planning for that. So uh, we expect to win as we're here. All these teams in this region will come to expect to win. So we, we're going to do nothing less. So we want to we want to win this and we're going to do our best to try. Uh, for both the players, you guys have kind of scuffled down the, the stretch. I think it's eight of the last 12 that, that you, you hadn't been able to find a way to win. Just what is the mindset of, of stopping that now and, and trying to get back on the winning track? Um, just getting healthy. We had a couple guys uh, banged up, and now we're, we're back to full health, getting back to the basics. Uh, we had a great week of practice. Um, everyone's starting to look good, getting healthy, and I think a big part um, of our success is, is being healthy. Um, and now that we're having everyone back, we should get back on that. Yeah, just getting back to our game. Efficient defense, efficient hitting, pitching. That's what we. That's how our team plays. That's how we need to get back to it. I'm sure you guys aren't losing any sleep over this, but what's it like to not have a mascot? And where are you guys uh, going with this? Well, we. It's funny you said that. I read the Daytona paper the other day on the bus trip up, and and uh, I didn't even know that. I mean, I'm, it shows you how much I'm in tune with what's going on on campus right now. We've got a mascot contest going on. And uh, so, uh, yeah, everybody says, what's a hatter? And uh, we don't have any mascot that strikes fear in anybody's hearts, but we're actually, uh, we're actually in, the, in the process of having a contest to adopt a, a mascot. So everybody asks me what a hatter is. I'm sure you guys probably know, but uh, John B. Stetson, the, the famous hat manufacturer, was the, the major benefactor to, uh, to help found the university back in the late 1800s, and uh, along with Henry DeLand, which obviously the town's named for, and John B. Stetson owned the hat, you know, the, the, the factory was up in Philadelphia, and the people that worked in the factories were called hatters. So when, uh, when, when Henry DeLand talked John B. Stetson into, into giving a chunk of money to help found the university, um, it was called Stetson University, and for, I guess for lack of a better term, they, they called the, everybody who went there hatters because that's what the, the workers in the factory were. So now, now you guys can go home fulfilled today. You know what a hatter is. All right, now I've got to ask the players, do you guys have any favorites in the mascot contest? Anything you want to be known as? <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't even know what the mascots are. I just, I just let the student, students do that. I'm not trying to worry about that. <laughs> Ironically, I'll tell you what the leading, they have, I guess they're having an online uh, a contest, and the leading uh, uh, mascot right now is a rooster, believe it or not. So I don't think they've called it a Gamecock yet, but it's a rooster. It's, a leading, it's, it's, it's leading in votes right now. So I don't know what a rooster has to do with anything as far as we're concerned. But. 
any other questions for the student athletes? If not, uh, as you can be dismissed, and then we'll open it up for questions for Coach Dunn. Yeah. You guys can wait on me. I got the car up. So. All right. Or you can stay up there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't want to be around me anymore, and they have to anyway. <laughs>